Lecture Day 906. Welcome to the Ukraine Wireless YouTube channel, where our dedicated team delivers daily, up-to-the-minute reports on the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war. For those who want to stay informed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. As of today, Ukrainian forces continue to fiercely defend their territory against Russian aggression. The primary objective of the Ukrainian troops is to disrupt Russian attack plans and diminish their combat capabilities. The Russian army is facing significant losses in both personnel and equipment. In the last 24 hours, there have been 98 intense combat clashes across various fronts. Russia has launched three missile strikes and conducted 64 airstrikes, deploying 58 guided bombs. The Russian forces also unleashed a relentless barrage of 463 kamikaze drones and carried out a staggering 2,668 artillery shellings on Ukrainian positions and civilian areas using a variety of weapons. In the Kharkiv region, Russian forces launched six assaults on Ukrainian positions in the Vovchansk and Lipsiv areas. The battle in Vovchansk is still ongoing, with Ukrainian forces showing strong resistance. According to current reports, Ukrainian forces in Kharkiv have inflicted heavy casualties on the Russian side, eliminating and wounding over 60 soldiers. They also destroyed a tank, an armored vehicle, two artillery systems, 28 drones, four vehicles, and two special equipment units. Additionally, three more artillery systems, three vehicles, and six special equipment units were damaged. In the Kupiansk sector, Russian troops attacked Ukrainian positions eight times near Berestov and Stelmakivka. Ukrainian forces successfully repelled seven offensive actions. The situation remains tense, with ongoing battles in three key areas. In the Lyman sector, Russian forces launched 17 assaults on Ukrainian positions near Makivka, Nevsky, Grekivka, Novoigirivka, and Dibrova. Two clashes are still underway, with Ukrainian troops holding their ground. On the northern front, Russian forces attempted seven assaults to dislodge Ukrainian troops from positions near Spurn, Vyimka, and Berezna. All attacks were repelled, with Russian forces failing to make any progress. In the Kramatorsk sector, Ukrainian soldiers successfully defended against six Russian advances near Chesivyar and Ivanivsky. Four attacks were repelled, and two clashes are ongoing, with Ukrainian forces maintaining control of the situation. In the Toretsk sector, Russian forces, backed by air support, launched 14 attacks on Ukrainian positions near Severn, Toretsk and Zaliznan. Nine clashes have been resolved, while five more are still in progress. The Ukrainian defenders are putting up a strong fight. The main focus of Russian efforts today has been on the Pokrovsk sector, where they launched 35 attacks in areas including Vozdvizhenka, Myrolyubivka, Novotroitsky, Novorodivka, Rodivka, Makolaivka, Zeleny, and Zaviti. Ukrainian forces have already repelled 20 attacks, with another 15 clashes still ongoing. In this area alone, the Russian army has suffered severe losses, with over 270 soldiers killed or wounded. Ukrainian forces destroyed a tank and six vehicles and inflicted significant damage on four artillery systems, a multiple rocket launcher, and 12 additional vehicles. In the Kurakiv sector, Ukrainian forces successfully repelled four Russian attempts to advance near the town of Kostiantinivka. Two clashes are currently ongoing, with the situation under control. In the Vermivka sector, Russian forces attempted to storm Ukrainian defenses near Vuledar, but were met with strong resistance. Ukrainian soldiers successfully halted the Russian advance. In the Pridnoprovsky sector, Russian forces made a single unsuccessful assault. Ukrainian positions remained intact and no ground was lost. Today, special recognition goes to the soldiers of the 66th Separate Mechanized Brigade, named after Prince Mstislav the Brave, who have demonstrated outstanding combat effectiveness in defending Ukraine's sovereignty. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates, and remember to subscribe for daily insights into the ongoing conflict.